Okay, so there's no real plan for today. I think we're just gonna keep it casual and uh, kind of go through the adventure log here and maybe we'll do some side quests, a few shrine quests. First things first though, I'm gonna try to get rid of this cloudy weather. Grab some wood here. Make ourselves a little fire. We'll sit here until noon. That's much better. Now, I think we first of all change out of all this stuff. Put our climbing gear on. I need to find the climbing headband or headpiece. I think we are looking for the merchant hood, which I don't believe I've ever gotten. Somewhere in the day at day of village ruins is a journal that places the location of this treasure. So we are headed to said village ruins, and maybe we'll check out that shrine afterwards. Why not? And we'll just take a little stroll through this forest. And see what we have. Looks like a traveler up here. Wonder if they've got anything interesting to say. Doesn't look like it. Can uh mine some ore. Oh we have to remember that I have at least ten of those luminous stones. So we can also head over to Do Zora's domain and do that little uh, side quest. Let's top off our uh, hearts here. And see what we have just over this hill. Somewhere in these ruins is a journal. Is that so? And there it is. I shall write down the locations. The traveling merchant hut is in the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage at Cozo Lake. Merchant Hood. The traveling merchant's hood is in the right hand. Trying to think of what that dragon could be. Hmm. Spring of Courage. Uh, where is that? I want to say, 
That looks like a spring. So let's try exploring over that way. See if we can't find anything. Something about a dragon's mouth, too. Um, what does it say? In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage. Well, I guess we are going to find out. Because I am not sure. I'm hoping we can get a kind of a vantage point to uh, see if we can find this spring or this stone dragon that apparently should be pretty obvious. Why are these stones here? Do I want to hit these? Unless I'm supposed to golf, <laughs> golf them into this hole. That could be it. Oh, this is kind of funny. Hopefully, there's not a uh, stroke limit. We got struck by lightning, but we found the Korok. Okay, we don't want to use the Master Sword. And we don't want to use this bow. Because we, man, you know, the weather was so nice for about 10 seconds. Wow, I'm on the brink of death. Okay. Let's keep going. And now it's sunny again. Confused. 
fingers crossed that the uh, spring of courage is near here. Let's try jumping up here. It's going to be tough to climb with this rain. But we can make it work. This guy. Yeah, I might. There we go. So, you know, if nothing else, we're getting some Korok seeds here. Doesn't look like it. Although there is a chest over here. Just something else. Zant's helmet. That is not what we were looking for. The helm of the self proclaimed king is in the swamp of the valley of dead trees. Swamp of the valley of dead trees. So where wait, Charcoal's a lake. Isn't that what we needed? Consumes the spring of courage. Okay. So we just gotta go over here. Ish. Kind of that way. Oh, and that sure looks like a dragon. And that's gonna be his right hand. Interesting. I've never done this before. All right. We should be able to not climb there, so we will just take another little fly from the tower. And see where that gets us. So. Oh, we've got this huge hill in our way again. So that doesn't help us. But now at least we are headed in the right-ish direction. 
And we found a helmet that makes us unfreezable. Can't recall uh, an enemy being able to freeze me, really getting on my nerves. But in the sake of 100% collection. In the sake of 100% collection, at least we got that. So, Zant's helmet. Zant was from uh, Twilight Princess, I believe. And the bad guy. That would be a, another good game to do a playthrough of, but I've just, uh, you know, I played it within the last uh, year, I think, so unless someone specifically requests that, I don't think I'm going to be very motivated to play that. What is this? Oh, looks like an egg. I don't know what it is about this location that it has to be raining. But I am not a fan. Okay, so this is his right hand. So we should be able to huh? Was there another statue? Soon there's a shape on his left hand that looks a little bit different. Okay, we're gonna make Nisus out and we're looking. I don't think I've ever actually been to this spring. Do I have any? for the dragon scale, but I think I have to see the dragon first and then shoot it. I am lost. Rivali's scale is now ready. This is the right hand of the dragon, correct? Suit on. Wow, there's a lot of these. Alright, um, we 
this is definitely, I mean, is the dry, okay. <laughs> I'm doing, uh, I'm doing my right, not his right. <laughs> Stage right. Okay, so that's my fault. A little bit of a blog moment there. And we're about to have another one where I blow myself up. Running out of food here. There is our guy, our chest. Let's see if I can pull it out of the ground without throwing it 50 feet. The merchant's hood. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. What? Why would I care about... Oh my goodness. <laughs> well... If that is not the strangest thing. <laughs> and there's our thumbnail. All right. Uh, how are we doing for time? I think we could uh, finish up with that shrine. All in all, a rather successful adventure. We accidentally found Zant's helmet, we got the merchant's hood, and a few cork seeds. We'll get a uh, shrine out of the way and call it a day. Gotta remember that I have my coffee here. It's still, still the morning for me, so. If you're listening to this, you're probably uh, it's more likely that you're going to sleep if you're watching something like this. Um, but I am still waking up. Oh no. Do we fight a stone talus right now? We have so many bomb arrows. It shouldn't be tough. I have to find the uh, soft spot. Does he have them? There it is. Just let me attack you. Let's see what the big deal is. Take your loot. 
Alright, sir. Not even a diamond. This economy. Alright. Anyways, before we were so rudely interrupted, we were on our way to this shrine over here, sitting out in the open. Ooh. Meanwhile, another shrine has revealed itself. I don't remember calling my horse. It was a little scary. Okay, so. We found a shrine for next time. Uh, and we will finish up with this shrine. And, okay, I gotta get this bunny hat off. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Can't take myself seriously. This looks arguably worse. jump off the ledge. The wind does not guide me then. Okay. The wind has guided me. Now why would I want to go back over here? Unless I miss something. Wait. That's it? There's gotta be some secret treasure. There's gotta be some big secret. Right? It can't just be this. A royal claymore. I'm sure later in the game I'm gonna think, you know, where is this missing piece of inventory or clothing? That's gonna be somewhere in the shrine because that was way too simple. Orb. And full health, thank you. Alright, well, we are approaching the 29 minute mark, I believe. So, never want to risk uploading a video that's too long. I mean, I'll break these. Or deposits real quick. Never want to um, risk uploading a video that's too long because you never know if my internet's gonna cut out in the middle of a YouTube upload. So we will continue tomorrow or the next day. Might be taking a uh, Bowser's uh, fury.